Today we're talking about the death of Transformers Comics. Transformers. There's sadness in my eyes. I recently picked up Transformers again. I, I, I would read, I read Transformers comics on, on and off. I was never the most uh, consistent reader. But they were usually pretty freaking good. Transformers comics were usually pretty good. Like, you'd have stuff like uh, Robots and... You had the, you had the double... The double... Uh, the double storyline. One was on The Lost Light. The other was on Cybertron with Robots in Disguise and More Than Meets the Eye. Like, those were good. I had started those from the beginning. And, uh, you know, like I said, but I was on and off through the whole thing. But it was really good. Like, that was a really good series. And then, like, they started going through Combiner Wars, and I would pick up one here and there. I would pick up, like, a graphic novel here and there, and I would pick up a single issue here and there. But, and it, it was all good. It it was all good. But then recently, I, I was trying to jump back into the comics, Cause when, and I started doing this, so I, I wanted stuff to read. And I was like, I'm going to do Transformers, man. I freaking love Transformers. Why not do Transformers? And so I picked up Lost Light number eight. And I've already done my, I've already, I've talked about that already. But what I want to talk about is how weak, how weak these book, that book is. And then I tried to, I, there was another, there's another series, which is Till All or One. I was like, okay, I'll read that instead. And I go to buy it. I go to subscribe to it. And nothing's going to be released. It is, right now, it is September 21st. I went I went to go buy this like a week ago, I think. And uh, the next issue coming out doesn't come out until like, I think it said December. Where, where, where did my Transformers go? Where are my Transformers? Like, I'm sure Till All or One was a good story, but it seems like they're losing support. I don't know if they're losing support. I don't know if, like, the movies are killing it, but there's something happening to these to these freaking books, and I think Lost Light is to blame. I don't know why Lost Light is coming out, because they're putting up the pre-order issues, like, on Comixology. They're not, they're not posting, like, you don't... A lot of comics you don't really have to pre-order like they're just you just subscribe to them or whatever. They're they're putting up pre-orders to just to I guess just to test the waters. Cuz Lost Light sucks. Lost Light freaking sucks so far. Lost Light is terrible. That is a terrible comic. I picked up I I had subscribed to it before I ever read it. So I subscribed to Lost Light and I read number 8 and I forgot after reading number 8 I didn't unsubscribe because uh you know maybe it gets better. Maybe those videos on YouTube are right. Maybe it does get better. And uh, I read number nine. And uh, it's comics is a place where you push boundaries. Comics should be a place where you push boundaries, not try and create social norms. You know what I mean? Like, comics is the place where Speedy, uh, Green Arrow's sidekick, once got busted doing heroin. You know what I mean? Like, Speedy was a junkie. That's good comics. But this, like, Lost Light feels like when the Comics Authority came in at the very beginning. And, like, everything, everything, like, lost its edge. Everything had lost its edge. When they were blaming comics for, like, for, like, the, all the problems with teenagers... Like, th this is what Lost Light feels like. It feels like you took something sharp and you just kind of rounded it out. And now it doesn't... Now it rolls really nice, but now it, there's no edges. There's no edge to it. Like... Like, it, there were certain cool elements here and there. There, There's a nice element here, a nice element there. But what I noticed in this book is that and it could just be the last two issues. I could be completely wrong, even though we're on issue number nine. They're removing action. These people are removing action because they're in a what looks to be just a giant market, right? You know, like they do in and anytime they have like a China like a movie in China, they're you're just walking through the market through this 
whatever it is, the street where there's lots of vendors and stuff. They're going through this market and like they do something and they have to get away from this guy. But instead of going through a chase scene and then limiting dialogue and going through this action chase scene, they do the opposite and they cut the chase scene and they come back to just them talking, walking through the market. I don't know why you would cut the chase scene. Like, the chase... They're Transformers. You're... Everything is a chase scene with Transformers. You fight, you transform, you try and get away. Whatever you're transforming into. And then there was a guy. It turned out to be, like, a thing where the guy could... Had millions of transformations. Like, an unlimited amount of transformations. But he was transformed into a coffin. He was a coffin, and then he turned into a person. You're a robot, whatever. And then they're like, whoa, he was, he was a coffin. Like, the idea that he can transform into anything is cool. The fact that he was a coffin, not cool. You see what they do? Like, they start out with this grain of a good idea, and they ruin it. There was even one part where there, there's a guy who can remove feelings. He removed the feelings. He would, because he was a sadist. He was a sadist and he'd remove your feelings. Now you don't get to have feelings. Like he was like, oh, I'm grieving for this person. Oh, I can, I'll, I can, I can deal with that. You can pay me in grief. I'll remove your grief. Which is a, once again, it's a cool idea. But they turned it into something stupid. Like they're trying to bring somebody back to life. And she's going to pay him in grief. And then they're like, these people don't do anything with grief. They're just sadists. Who try to take feelings away from people. Ah, now you don't get to have feelings. And then, there was, you see, there was this point in this book where it just... One of the, whoever it was, I like, they're interchangeable at this point. She was gonna, it was, I, I'm pretty sure it's a she, because I think they, in this issue, they were all she's. She was gonna go in and, she was gonna go in and get her feelings removed to bring this person back to bring skids, tracks, something like that, back to life. And, uh, the other the other robot says the other transformer says i don't agree with what you're doing but i respect your right to choose give me a freaking break man i respect your right get come on and it was like this close up panel <laughs> it was so stupid I respect your right to choose. Who talks like that? Like, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go... I'm gonna get... I'm gonna go get surgery voluntarily. To get my nipples removed. Look, man. It's a bad idea. But I respect your right... To not have nipples. Like, it was freaking stupid. First of all, nobody talks like that. And this is just one of those things that it's like... Do you remember watching uh, Don't Be a Menace to South Central while drinking your juice in the hood? Anytime like, there was like a social message or something, if even vaguely, uh, Keenan Ivory Wayans would show up and he'd yell, MESSAGE! <laughs> That's what I feel this is. We need a Keenan Ivory Wayans moment here where he just pops out and just like, MESSAGE! I respect your right to choose. Go to hell, man. Freaking get out of here. I respect your right to choose. You, yeah. Everyone has the right to be respected in their right to choose whatever it is they want for their life. But a friend? A friend would be like, come on. Get your crap together. A friend would shoot straight. A good friend. A bad friend, you know. They would respect your right to choose. 
a good friend would be like, come on, man. Don't be stupid. You're going to regret this later. You're going to freaking regret this later. You know, tell it to them straight. Tell it to them straight. Like, that's what that's what a real friend does. Be honest. You don't save feeling, feelings. Why are feelings so freaking important now? Nobody cares. Nobody cares how you feel. <laughs> I'm getting angry. I'm getting emotional talking about feelings. <laughs> but I mean, come on, man. It's Transformers. It's not Feelings Formers. Feelings Formers. I've got sadness in my eyes. Hey, that still fits. Uh, come on, man. Like, this, this is why people are going to stop reading this. I unsubscribed. I unsubscribed to Lost Light. And I love Transformers. And this was making... You want feelings? Lost Light makes me sad. Lost Light was... It made me... No wonder it's called Lost Light. Because you're losing the light of Transformers. The Matrix is dimming thanks to you freaking buttholes. Freaking, I respect your right to choose. Go to hell, man. Like, I respect a woman's right to choose. I respect anyone's... I don't care. I don't really... <laughs> it's not that I don't respect your right to choose. Like, I, I don't care. It's your life. Do what you want. But when you're just like... Like, that, that one stuck out so much. But I respect your right to choose. <sighs> Put your politics away. I just want to read a book. I'm just trying to read about comics. Quit trying to indoctrinate people. And if the movies brought them in, you're not going to indoctrinate, indoctrinate them anyway. Like some of the best comic, like the originals, like Robots in Disguise and More Than Meets the Eye were great books. They were great storylines. And then you go from that to this. Maybe I just jumped in at the wrong point. But you know what? It's your fault. IDW. Transformers. It's your fault for this garbage. So fix your crap, man. Well. Thanks for listening. <laughs> if you read this garbage too. Let me know in the comments what you thought of it. Let me know if you thought it was brilliant. A brilliant, brilliant writing. Uh, I didn't even, this time I didn't even touch on the freaking transgender robot. Please. Freaking please. Uh, thanks for listening. If you liked it, uh, like, subscribe, tell your friends, whatever. Uh, thanks for listening and uh, peace out.